In the years since Optimus Prime's departure from Earth, Hound had taken refuge at Cade Yeager's junkyard with the other Autobots. Hound regularly helped set up one-way phone calls between Cade and Tessa, who was away at college. One day, when Cade and Bumblebee were caught in a standoff with the Transformers Reaction Force, Hound arrived to provide his friends with extra firepower. Cade was able to defuse the standoff, though Hound egged on the TRF to shoot him as he departed. Hound unknowingly had two stowaways in the form of the young Isabella and her companion Squeaks, who hitched a ride back to the junkyard with him. After a visit from Day Trader, the Decepticons found and attacked the junkyard. While Cade led the others away to set up a trap in a nearby town, Hound stayed behind to buy them some time. Hound faced off with Megatron and the other Decepticons all by himself, and successfully fended them off. Later, when Cybertron loomed in the skies overhead, Hound joined the other Autobots in heading for Stonehenge to partake in the forthcoming battle. Isabella easily convinced Hound to let her join them, and the Autobots met up with the returned Optimus, though Hound didn't get a chance to say hello before Optimus flew off to lead the attack. Hound and Bumblebee boarded an orbital assault carrier to tangle with some airborne Decepticons, but soon hopped off to provide some aid to their human friends. Even with their combined firepower, Hound was unable to push forward thanks to the presence of the Infernicons. Eventually Squeaks cleared a path, and Hound joined Optimus, Bumblebee, Hot Rod, Cade, and Vivian Wembley in charging forward. Hound once again took on Megatron, this time alongside his fellow Autobots, and was almost killed by the Decepticon leader had it not been for Hot Rod's timely aid. Vivian ultimately saved the day, and Hound returned to Cybertron with his fellow Autobots. The Last Night 